when we talk about tea, there's obviously caffeine as part of tea, but the caffeine that's in tea is a little different from the caffeine that you might find in coffee. Uh, so there's L-theanine, um, and what it does is it causes this calm state of alertness. So you don't get that instant buzz when you have a cup of tea. As you, uh, you don't get the instant buzz like in a cup of coffee like you do in a cup of tea. Uh, the tea um, caffeine, like I mentioned, is kind of this calm state of alertness. Um, while you drink the tea and so if we kind of look at this creating this chart in our heads about you know the proper steeping time there's also the caffeine chart in your head so black tea has more caffeine than it has the most caffeine of any tea but it's about half as much comparable to a cup of coffee so then if you kind of go down the chart green tea has about a quarter as much about 25 milligrams um, and then um, uh, white tea has the least amount of caffeine okay but then on the opposite side, if you look at health benefits, uh, white tea has the most health benefits of a tea because it's the least oxidized. So you get all, um, you know, all the antioxidants uh, that you find in tea uh, from the white tea. You still get them in the green tea. Uh, you still have some in black tea, but the more you oxidize the tea, some of those uh, uh, benefits um, are lost. And so since white tea is the least uh, oxidized and processed. It has contains the most kind of antioxidants and polyphenols. Mm -hmm.